Hello, welcome back to another pen talk. We might call this number two in my series of um, dispelling myths or providing clarity to some of the discussions that float around on the internet. So a few weeks ago, there was a concern by a number of, of people about corrosion of the vac filling rod in the Wing Sung uh, 3013 or the Pili 013, that rod that you can see here inside of the barrel. And some people called it rust. And to me, rust is a very specific term for uh, oxidation of steel or iron. And I'm going to show in this video about how that's not the case and what I think might be the issue with those people that saw corrosion on the rod of their pens. So here's a close-up of that vac filling rod. Uh, this is the Wing Sung 3013 and this is the Pili 013. These have been inked up for over a month and is, is very visible here. There is no corrosion, no pitting. The rod looks as good as it did when it was new. The Wing Sung has a Franklin Christoph Nuoret Blue in it. And the uh, Pili Green has Lamy Green in it. So two different inks. Two different, I think, very benign inks. But certainly no impact to that rod. So I expect these pens to have a long life from that perspective. So I uh, was trained in, in college as a metallurgist, which became materials engineering, but I've always had a fondness for metals. I uh, practiced in the beginning of my career um, fairly, um, got deeply into metallurgy, but then as my career progressed, I uh, transformed into other specialties. So um, my knowledge is fundamentally sound, but a little rusty but and that was all the pun intended so to me what you need to figure out if something is steel is a magnet so here's one of my trusty little blades and as you can see it's magnetic so iron is magnetic and steel and most forms of steel and I'll use the, the term steel to represent an alloy version of iron so as you can see, that was magnetic. So I took t two of my remaining Wing Song and, and Paley uh, pens apart. And we have the piston here. And we have a magnet. And uh, there's no magnetism on any of these parts. So right away, it's not made out of steel or iron. It could be an alloy but I kind of doubt that. So this camera works pretty well in, in, in close-up. So to me, when I look at this rod, and I've looked at it under a loop, and the surface is not really as smooth as you would expect, and I would say it has a little bit of pitting on it. So my guess is this is a brass rod that they've plated with you know, rhodium plating to make it match the trim of the pen. And that's why it's not magnetic. And that also indicates why it may pit if certain liquids that could attack the plating or if the plating has some flaws in it that might cause that pitting. But brass is, is fairly corrosion resistant in ink. So that's... Uh, something i mean i would have just left it brass but then it wouldn't aesthetically probably look uh, as good as the designers of this pen wanted it to look in the perspective of cost of metal or the base material that you use steel is less expensive uh, than brass steel could be a little bit harder to form but probably has more um, resistance to bending or distortion so here's just your standard, you know, Sharpie pen, and it has a clip on it, and that clip is steel. And as you can see, it also picked up 
the cap from the Penn BBS 322 model, which is one of their lower end models. So we'll move up to their latest, the 480, and that clip has no magnetism to it. So my guess it's it's stamped brass, it's plated. And then you go to a Jinhao 992, which is also considered a lower end pen, and that clip is also magnetic and steel. And here we have uh, one of my silver pocket pens, and the body of the pen has no magnetism, but you come to the clip and the magnet sticks. So hopefully that's helpful uh, to explain a few things. And like I said, if anybody's concerned about the corrosion of the vac filling rod on the 3013, that could happen on a few pens. It could happen with ink that is um, alkaline, like Iro Shizuku. Um, you know, any of the inks that aren't really pH neutral could have it a tendency, or you could just get um, a rod that the plating didn't work quite well on it. And I used to be in costume jewelry where we made a lot of the base jewelry out of brass and then plated it with either rhodium or gold to give it either a silver or gold look. And there that process of plating was very critical, multi-layer, and we tried to ensure that there was uh, no porosity, you know, no um, places where the uh, outside elements could get into the base material and therefore diminish the look of the of the uh, jewelry piece and hopefully it would maintain for a long period of time that silver or gold look. So hopefully you found this interesting and this is a magnet that just came off of uh, one of our many items that are attached to our refrigerator. Yes we have a lot of refrigerator magnets play around if you uh, are so inclined and be interesting to see what's made out of steel and what's not made out of steel and based on this uh, just very very small sampling section the higher end pen BBS pens are not steel clips but the lower end ones are so you may ask what about steel nibs well I think we're going to find this interesting here's a NEMA scene not magnetic, Pen BBS, not magnetic. Here's an Osmoroid uh, calligraphy nib, not magnetic. But here's a dip nib, you know, um, calligraphy nib, and it's magnetic. So one of the uh, challenges that a lot of people have found is these nibs have a limited life to them. They corrode very quickly. These nibs are called steel nibs, but my guess is they're made out of a higher grade of stainless steel, which is not magnetic, which has nickel in it. And this is a Birmingham pen paperclip in the shape of a nib, and it is definitely... A magnetic material even though it looks like it's a, a gold or a brass color but it's certainly made out of a uh, form of steel. We have a variety of steel nibs some of which will corrode because they are just plain steel and others will not because they're stainless steel. We've reached the end of this short little video uh, hopefully educational informative. Um, thank you for watching and may whatever your pen is made out of, um, hopefully it lasts as long as you would like it to last, and uh, you enjoy writing with it, putting thoughts down on paper, you know, using ink to turn your paper into something less boring than a white sheet, and um, share ideas. So that's the fun part. We've now reached the end of this video, so we're going to say bye. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your pens. Have fun. See you soon.